everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you how you can subscribe to my channel and at the same time i am also going to show you how you can protect your windows 10 11 system with the microsoft bitlocker so without further ado let's get started so in this video uh, we are going to uh, anyways you are not going to subscribe my channel so I'm skipping that part and let's concentrate on the Microsoft BitLocker. So basically there are two, three ways you can configure the BitLocker or you can silently push the BitLocker on the Windows endpoints and the Mac devices also when we are uh, going, when, when we are going to cover the Mac devices that time I will show you how you can uh, enable the BitLocker on the Microsoft, oh, sorry, on the Mac devices. Uh, but in this video, I am going to cover Windows 10 11 system. Okay, so you can see my screen. Uh, the BitLocker you can configure through the configuration profile. You can directly come here through the configuration profile, create a configuration profile, select a Windows 10 later, and then there is a two options. Each of like uh, either of uh, you can with the template or the settings catalog any one of uh, settings or uh, this profile you can create a bitlocker microsoft bitlocker and when you select the template then you need to select the endpoint protection and create endpoint protection just given the name endpoint protection i'm just copy pasting here and then you will see the windows encryption option and in this op in this option <laughs> Uh, you can create a windows encryptions and uh, make a settings as per your re requirement i will show you what kind of a settings you need to have so you can push the bitlocker silently on the windows 10 11 machine when you first onboard any windows machine in the intune so it automatically or silently uh, it will push the bitlocker and it will store the windows uh, sorry the bitlocker key in azure active directory so how you can do that i will show you uh, this is the first method that you can do uh, like through this method you can uh, push the silently bitlocker then there is another method that i am just uh, same here select windows 10 later and this time i am going to select uh, profile type uh, setting catalog and the same thing here you just name endpoint protection just for this demo and then you select here and then you can just search your bit locker perfect and here we go we see the lot of options so now you have to select this and just see all the settings the same settings no difference and you just need to do here all this required so it's 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 a little bit complicated uh, doing this like doing bit locker thing from this uh, catalog uh, this is the new uh, like uh, new feature not a new feature it is in the production quite while uh, but uh, for the bitlocker i don't recommend uh, this uh, set, uh, setting catalog uh, now third option is when you see okay can you see this endpoint security you can come here in the endpoint security and then there is a disk encryption so you can go here and I have already created a BitLocker policy for you with the, all the settings. By default, you won't get any settings. It's all uh, not configured, that kind of. So we need to make a customize all the settings. So I'm clicking here and I'm going to properties and I'll just uh, edit and I will show you how it's going to look. So this is the way it's going to look the baseline setting so i'll just one by one i will just uh, walk you through all the settings are the similar so basically uh, what uh, encryption like how you like uh, enable the full disk or the used space only in going to encrypt so this these settings you can make it from here and then the mobile device and hide prompt is like when you encrypt uh when you enable the bitlocker there is a prompt comes okay where you want to store the bitlocker keys on the local device or the network location so that that prompt is going to disable so th this when you select this yes and then it becomes a silent encryption so we are in all these four settings we are going to select this yes so that 
this there will be no prompt for the end user or or to make a decision because we don't want uh, security reason we don't want end user to store the bitlocker key on the their personal devices right or the usb or anywhere so that's the reason we are doing this silently so end user will not have a option or he cannot see any bitlocker key so all this key will store in the azure active directory and in the intune profile also i will show you where or from where you can recover this key uh, if there is a hardware change you know happen that time uh, if you change the motherboard or the uh, anything uh, so th that time you would require uh, bitlocker key so that time this bitlocker key will and how you can give that bitlocker key to the end user i will show you so yeah so this is the setting here the you can pause the video and you can take down this or you can copy these settings to your uh, test environment and see how it is work for you and then second option is here same the bitlocker fixed drive policy configure allowed and this recovery password creation hide recovery options during the bitlocker startup and this all this and also i am encrypting this or encryption is going to happen with the latest uh, uh, encryption method that is aes uh, 256 bit xts uh, this is encryption methods we are going to use by default uh, microsoft use this aes 128 bit but uh, we are going we are going with the latest one that is a 256 bit uh, xts uh, same same policy same settings for the next the BitLocker OS OS drive settings and uh, compatible uh, TPM TPM is again the mandatory thing thing for the BitLocker when you doing the silent uh, uh, silent onboarding silent uh, encryption so the BitLocker is also is uh, mandatory uh, anyways it's it's mandatory in Windows 11 so yep so that is the thing and uh, the settings are here. Uh, then the recovery removable drive it is uh, again uh, we are encrypting with the AES 256 and uh, I'm not doing this for the USB drive where uh, I don't want to put, uh, like if you want to protect you can go ahead with this yes option uh, block right access to the removable drive uh, sometimes the users use the their personal USB drive and uh, if the company is not uh, like if the companies want this bitlocker uh, to be available like should be applied on the removable drive then yes you can go with this otherwise uh, if the company is not worried about the usb you know any usb personal usb drive to attach to their company uh, own device then yeah you should go with this not configured otherwise uh, end user will come up okay what is this happening with the their end usb drive right so i i don't go with this option all the time uh so i review and save and the save i have not made any changes uh, and then this you can apply this whole bit locker thing to the um device group okay all device and then that's that's how you can see and then there is a how you can check the bit locker key a recovery key that's basically when you open any device page and on the device overview page there is a recovery key option is here and this recovery key options you will see the recovery key is right here so from here and you can give this key to your uh, end user and they can uh, just type whenever it's like when that's required uh, the key will be there all right so this is the small demo uh, of the bit locker you can you can use this bit locker same settings in your uh, developer environment and just see how it is goes uh, virtual machines bit locker doesn't apply on the virtual machine so just keep in mind uh, bit locker need to be uh, pushed on the physical hardware where the tpm is supported and uh, yes uh, this is and the uh, yeah finally uh, again the most important thing is please please uh, like and subscribe